Hey everybody, the normal, average, everyday Joe here, and uh, I've come back to um. Okay, I don't want to do this one. Uh, really, how do I want to do this one? Uh, I actually didn't have anything planned. <laughs> um. um I just heard, okay, uh, here's something. I just heard news that, uh, um, that Double Dare is coming back. I don't care so long as it's not Double Dare 2000. Well, I don't know if that was a piece of shit. No, you don't. Yes, yeah, so if you can hear this, I started this video in my bathroom. Um, so I did a video a while back saying how there are there are certain episodes of SpongeBob, The Simpsons, and other that um these guys seem to hate but I seem to like and everyone else has been doing a top 10 worst episodes of good cartoons and vice versa so why not do that okay Number 10. Number 10 would have to be. Um, I was a high school dropout or something from my life as a teenage robot. So. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about this. And, um, yeah, I loved my life as a teenage robot growing up. And so, <clears throat> I didn't really notice that this was one fucked up piece of shit episode. Well, I rewatched the episode. Oh, where did I feel like shooting myself? Look, there's not a lot of times a show will shoot itself in the foot. Or the fucking head. But this episode has got to be the worst. Only worst I can think. Um you know and if you don't know the episode, um I'm gonna have spoilers for this, so please just go find the episode and watch it and then come back. Now these episodes might just be my these are just my personal opinions and I'm I'm, I'm thrilled that you like them if you do. Yeah. Just like uh um Fan Strider. You found something that you enjoy, I found something I did. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna finally accomplish my dream. <laughs> I only very recently became one. Okay. So we just did number 10. The reason... I mean, the song's kind of stupid. The characters are kind of out of place. And... It really... When it comes to robots, age is just a number. You know? I mean, Jenny gets put in a preschool. Because... Whatever. 
Listen, Principal Jackass, you seem like a great guy. But... Uh, how do I want to say this? <laughs> Yo, no! You're too smart to do this! You know she's a robot that's aged differently. I mean, look at Bender. One uh, from Futurama. The show, he's only four or five on the show. Yet, he's a beer drinking son of a bitch. Or stealing son of a bitch. Of course, I'm going to give these episodes their own review. Their own review. But, let's just say that's going to be one big review. Number nine. Um, can't remember what it's called. Number nine. Um, oh yeah, number nine. All grown up. Um, the one where they go out with. Um, where's my dude bitch? This is actually the only episode I could find written by the dudes who do the music for the show. The, the, uh, the Devo, what, whatever you call them. Mark and Bob Mothersbaugh. And, uh, it, it's so stupid, weird, I think I've seen it somewhere before kind of out of character. Tommy is a bad cowboy. He, he sucks at his whatever he's doing. Susie's trying to become a bad girl to prove something to... Fuck, I don't know, Angelica? And Dill finds out that someone has been scamming them with no TV. Ooh, that old box. Oh. Does it come together, though? Look, it's only nine on my list because I did get a chuckle out here and there. I have chuckled here and there. And, you know, it's a very good story of how Woody, uh, Tommy became a great cowboy. Insert Toby Keith song here. Number eight. Any Kim Possible episode split into two 15-minute segments. Yeah, I'm sorry, but those four or six episodes are completely... They just feel wrong. You know, like that, that show you watched while you were sick that you would never watch when you're healthy? That's those episodes. And I get a little irritated, especially with eczema. Yeah, right there. Every time I watch it. So it's kind of a sped up theme. Uh, it takes me back to a really sick day. When I was really, really sick. And I don't want that. Let's just go on before I throw up. <sighs> Number seven. Um. Number seven, the SpongeBob episode. Um, not down to uh, nature pants. Look, this episode's really kind of out of place. I've talked about it before, but this. Oh god, it's an ungodly episode. Everything about it's wrong. Look, you want a good episode where SpongeBob wants to be a jellyfish? Fine, watch um, Sponge Who Could Fly. But this. <laughs> Shoot me. <laughs> now, not all these are going to be cartoons. Like number six. Number six. Wedding crap, uh, wedding, the, the wedding, Drake and Josh. Yeah, I'm gonna make an episode, a review about this one alone. 
and probably review the great Vince Blake from his other one I won. But I just want to say, oh uh, God, everything's off about this episode. Drake comes off kind of like Josh, whereas Josh comes off kind of an asshole for parts of it. And I can't understand why. They're both trying to get a cake to their aunt's wedding and or something, so some some fam, some relative's wedding, and a vehicle blown to them by Trevor breaks down in the middle of nowhere. What happened to Scotty? <laughs> no, he doesn't save his brother's ass. He just decides to be a. You know what? That that's some. Um, Trevor's retarded, and Scotty's a prick. Uh, that's the worst. Just like the episode Treehouse, it doesn't go anywhere, and it kind of makes you feel cold. That's what, the first five? Okay. Number five. The SETI arc. Yes, I know Pie Guy Rules is doing that right now. And I'd love to help him out. Or shoot myself. Whatever comes first. Sorry. Number four. Now, if I'm looking at this from a skeptical point of view versus a viewer's point of view, I absolutely love thy trophy, family guy. I mean, they all, it all, they all turn against each other because of a fucking trophy that Brian buries. And Meg, for some reason, uses her brother to get her more money at her job. And he gets him put in foster care. Nice going, bitch. Number three. Oh, yeah, number three. The one where Genie's parents come to visit. Aladdin. There's not much I can say without giving it a review. Number two. The Jake episodes. Hannah Montana. You know, I didn't mind Hannah Montana as a kid. This is just unbearable. And the number one episode of a good bad episode of a good show is An episode of The Simpsons called Every Man's Dream. Now, I've done this review. Be I've done a review of this episode before, and let's just say it is. The, it shows that they're running dry on, on episode ideas, and it's a piece of shit from beginning to end. If you want to see it, hopefully my review's out there to watch. Otherwise, I'll probably do it again. Um, and that's it. There will be an honorable mentions list sometime here in the future. Um, but that's it. I'm David Von Puckett Jr. slash the normal average everyday Joe. See ya.